Hi everyone, I'm Crimson3 and uh, this, it's a little special video today because it's very close to Christmas right now so I decided to make a, a little story, a Christmas story I'm going to read for you guys. I wrote it by myself. <laughs> so I hope you will enjoy it and uh, I will see you more in the vi after the video. Uh, but. I'm going to start reading for you guys and I hope you really will like this video. Just find the page of course. Once upon a time in a house far far away in the little town Appaloosa Plains lived a small young girl. I said a girl. <laughs> anyway, she were a young happy girl with full with dreams. It was soon Christmas and she couldn't wait for Santa Claus to come with all her wishes she had wished this year. She always wanted to have a friend you see. She's always alone, no friends. Her dad was worried and have been for a very long time. She's brothers is always mean to her and she didn't really care much about that. Today was one day before Christmas and she knew this were going to be a good day today. She woke up and looked out from the windows. It was snowing. Dad already put the breakfast ready for her when she came down downstairs. Pancakes. Pancakes, that was his favorite dish. Dad asked. So what do you wish for Christmas? She already knew the answer and said. I want a friend for Christmas, Dad. She's brought a lot. <laughs> she didn't even notice that her brother was sitting in the couch behind. The brother said, So why are you just sitting here all day? Why are you not making some friends? It's not that easy, she said. Just ignore him, said Dad. Later that day in the backyard of their house, she was building on a snowman. She loved to create stuff, you know. She always loved winter and snow, as you might can see. She was really happy with the result when she were finally done with it. Hmm, I will call you Victor, she thought to herself. Please stop, she screamed. brother destroyed Victor into the ground and he laughed and left her alone with what remains of the snowman. She ran up to her room starting to cry and she couldn't stop she was really really sad. At the same time dad came into the room very angry and dad said your brother said that you destroyed his snowman. No I didn't it was enough said dad and you don't leave this room today dad leave the room what more could happen today why why now she felt more alone than ever then she think what should mom have done in this moment she sneaked out from the house and started to run as fast as she could she came to a park she have been here before. Well, then it should be not much longer, she said to herself. She walked and walked and she finally saw what she was looking for. Nobody were here. It was only her. And there on the ground was his mother's gravestone. She missed her mother so much. Why can't you be here when I need someone? My brother is mean to me and my dad are angry and I think he will be much angrier when he realizes that I am gone. If you have noticed, it's pretty late right now, but she decided to be here a little bit longer. She's not afraid for the darkness, so she didn't really care so much. She walked away, then she come on her mind, how should she come home? Now she couldn't remember where she came from. I have to find the park, she thought, and started to walk. 
but she could not remember where she came from. She was really tired and sat down. There were not much trees or plants nearby, but it was good. It was only her and her much, much snow. She always liked the snow since she was really young, but she didn't really like it now when she had to be out here and she couldn't find a home. It's Christmas tomorrow and this will be the worst Christmas ever. I just want to come home to my family. And she was really tired. Now she lay down in the snow and started to fall in sleep. A shooting star. I wonder what that means. Meanwhile at the home in the small house, Dad said, Sandy! Come downstairs, you must have something to eat. No one answered. Dad said once again. Sandy! And still no answer. Dad walked into her room and it was empty as you already guys know. She was outside and she couldn't find her way home. Dad looked everywhere in the room. But she, he couldn't find her. Dad yelled at the brother. Have you seen Sandy? Nope, I thought she was her in her room. No, not much longer and Dad started to search on the house. Sandy! Sandy! No response at all. She maybe have gone to mom's gravestone. She always do that when she are sad. Wait here, said Dad. I take in the car and she he ran fast as he could to the car and drove away. When Dad came to the graveyard, he couldn't find her anywhere and he looked everywhere. Sandy! No response at all. He looked down on his wife's grave. Why can't you be here when I need you? I shouldn't not yell at her. Oh my young girl, it's my fault, she said, he said. And you could hear his, on his voice that he was really worried. It was Christmas today and the snow were more beautiful than ever. And Dad answered. It was the brother. They have found her, he said. Dad couldn't be much happier right now and he drove away with his car. He arrived at the hospital just on five minutes. Sandy was sleeping when he came uh, into the hospital. He also found the brother and the doctor in the room. He really didn't know what the person he wanted to go first to. He was tired and hungry. He did not even take the, his first step into the room before the doctor came up to him and said she was really lucky when we found her in the snow, almost froze to death. But she could not survive if it had not been for her. And he looked at the corner. And there, in the corner, stood a woman. Dad didn't even notice she were in the room when he arrived here. They looked at each other, no one said a thing. Until Dad said, Thank you so much. I don't know what to say. You saved her. Oh, oh, you don't have to thank me. I was just nearby and saw something in the snow, she said. You saved the Christmas for us, said Dad. Very happy. Okay. Well, I should go now and celebrate Christmas with my son. Have a happy Merry Christmas, she said and she walked away. Dad looked at Sandy and thought something. Then he ran off the room. Come, come and celebrate Christmas with us. We will be very happy if you guys did this. Christmas tree, presents, good food, everything they could dream of were there. Everyone was happy. But no one were happier than Sandy. To celebrate Christmas together with people she loved and the woman's 
Sun was very friendly. Maybe they could be friends. Who knows? Who knows? Dad, what do you want for Christmas? Said Sandy. Dad simply said, "To see my kids happy, you know." Sandy, I will show you something here for you. And there it was, a dog. You said you wanted a friend, Sandy. Oh, thanks, Dad. Thanks. And that was the end of this story. And what we say here in Sweden. Snip, snap, snoot. Nu har stagan slut. <laughs> anyway. I really hope you like this uh, story thing. If you know what I mean. And uh, I would be very happy if you like this video. Or maybe subscribe. Who knows. So you can stay tuned with my other videos. Like house building videos and other cool stuff. Anyway, I should go now. And uh, I have to do one more thing. And that is to do this. Okay, everyone. I'm Chris in 3. And Merry, Merry Christmas to you all. Come on, push. Ah, my f-